Hi, today I'm going to be doing a Mac tutorial. Okay, so today I'm showing how you can change your folders so they look like anything you want them to look like. Okay, so let's start by making a new folder, calling it test. So this is the folder you want to change. Now let's say we want it to look like this elephant, for example. Now what we want to do is go to the elephant, right click it, and press get info. And you'll see a little thing will pop up. Close that. Now this folder, the one we want to change to an elephant, we also press get info. As you can see, there's two folders, two little icons there and two big icons here. We want to drag the big elephant into the small folder. And basically, this will change it, so now your folder looks like an elephant. Still a folder, still opens, but it's also an elephant. Okay, now as you can see, we can't do that with all fold. I mean, your Mac won't have every folder you want, I mean every picture you want, so you might need to get some from the internet. As you can see, these ones were from the internet. I didn't just get them from my MacBook. So what we want to do, we want to go to the internet, preferably go to something like Google Images, and say we want this picture. We want to right-click it, copy image, and get info for this. Click it until it turns blue, and then press Command V, in other words, paste. And as you can see, it looks like that. The only thing is, when you get stuff from Google, it'll usually have this white background, which is very annoying. If you want to get rid of it, Okay, if we want to get rid of it, we're going to have to, um, first of all, we download the image by pressing save as. I've already done that and it's in my downloads. Now what we want to do is open the image with preview. As you can see, this will pop up. Now what we want to do, as you can see, it's got a rectangular selection. Just simply select small area and press delete. We'll ask if you want to duplicate it as a PNG because JPG can't handle transparency. Press duplicate as a PNG, and it'll open a new one, and you can close the old one. Now basically, we want to make all this white stuff go away. To do that, we go instant alpha, and we select a small bit of the white, like that. And that will happen. Now what we do, we simply press delete, and there we go. Now we go to rectangle selection again, select the area you want, there we go press command C or command copy and then we right click that folder we want to change get info click on the folder and then press command V and as you can see no white spots looks fine okay now something really cool you can do with this is make hidden folders because as you can see you didn't know about that folder until I highlighted it because it was completely invisible to do this Basically, with a preview image, any image, we want to test four. No. Four. Okay. We want to first of all get rectangle selection, highlight the whole image, and press delete. So basically, oh, I missed a bit. But basically, it deletes everything in the image. So this is all just transparent nothingness. So we highlight a bit of that transparent nothingness press command C or copy it and then we get our new folder get info and then we click on the folder until it glows blue press command V and paste the nothingness onto it as you can see whoops the folder is now invisible to get rid of the wording just replace it with a space oh okay it's already taken by something else but anyway the point is you go there we go an invisible folder that will only be seen if you do that. As you can see, it can be annoying to open these folders, so an easy way is to just highlight it and press Commando, and it'll open. So yeah, that's my tutorial on how to change the look of folder or icons or applications, whatever. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to message us and ask.